Okay, okay, okay. Today we're gonna be doing a quick tour of this, you feel me? So I did a video like this, and pretty much that one isn't really accurate anymore. I did make one mistake with that tier list. I forgot that gravity and electric was on that tier list, even though electric wasn't in the game. I thought electric was in the game because electricity was in testing. I don't know why they didn't release it to the game, but hey. So anyways, we're gonna be making a new tier list. Now I'm gonna leave a screenshot on the screen so you can, you know, so I can compare the old tier list to the new tier list. On the old tier list, I'm pretty sure I had one for all above everything else. On the new tier list, guess what's above all? Yes, sir. Health theme I'm gonna explain why in a second. So all the way at the bottom of the tier list on Ass, we have we have Quirkless and Invisibility. Now this resembles Quirkless if you didn't know Young Bakugo. They might be asking why Invisibility is uh it's not above Quirkless. Well, if you get Invisibility, it really makes no sense to put your your uh it really makes no sense to put stats in Quirk Mastery. So I mean, it's just a waste of stats to be honest. So that's why Quirkless is above Invisibility. Invisibility is trash. Next we have the second row. On the second row we have muscle augmentation and acid muscle augmentation is pretty bad because uh one it's really bad for pvp and it's i for grinding but i don't really see it as a top tier quirk at all there's a lot of close range moves for it which isn't a bad thing but in this game there isn't really a lot of combo potentials and if you're finding a one for all user you're kind of done for because one for all users usually spam that's what kind of makes them good acid is right before it i believe muscle augmentation is better than acid in the aspect of grinding but acid is just as bad as our almost augmentation i mean, got nothing to say on the getting better role we have explosion and gravity now i put gravity before explosion but gravity is pretty it's it's, a, it's a right. the thing you could do while grinding with gravity you just jump on a tree aggro every uh, npc and you just spam your gravity moves i've seen a guy done this before and it works but i mean it's kind of boring to grind with if you ask me pvp is not there so it's just it's kind of bad most of the moves are literally you just picking up a rock from the floor and just dropping it right back down it's really uncreative uh, quirk so then you have explosion explosion is uh i think it has one long range moves and like i said it's a problem if, if if a quirk has a lot of close range moves because it's a lot of quirks that has a lot of range moves which doesn't make it balanced at all explosion doesn't do that much damage it did get a buff but i'm pretty sure it didn't really help help it out a lot the quirk scaling sucks right now but hopefully on friday unreal will make it better on decent we have electrification you feel me now electrification i put on decent above uh explosion because i'm pretty sure I, i'm positive that this is better than all the other quirks that we went through on this tier list it's decent for grinding it's nothing too special and then for pvp it's i right. you can't combo with it literally you really can't combo with it but it's it's decent electrification isn't really anything too big now every quirk below electrification and including electrification i wouldn't recommend getting at all so that being said the four quirks you want to get is either leech one for all half out half cold or health flame now you might be saying why the hell do i want leech with leech you can literally kill npc so easily kill that bosses so easily and if you're good with it even uh, even 1v1 if you find one for all users i'm not gonna lie you're kind of done with leech because like i said one for all users spam they don't get in close they don't m1 you cannot combo with one for all i did a video on leech versus half out of cold and uh leech kind of won but hey if you want to go watch that video go on ahead next we have one for all so one for all is one for all is before half out of cold because unlike one for all half out of cold can infinite combo now health flame and half out of cold has an infinite combo but health flame's infinite combo is way easier to hit off so that's why health flame is on number one now we're mostly leaning to the pvv side for this tier list but grinding wise they're both really really good quirks like all three of them one for all half out of coal and health flame is pretty good for grinding you do the infinite combo from um health frame and half out of coal for grinding as well so it's it's you know like it's pretty good and one for all is just you know spam quirk but it's not as bad as you think for grinding now, now you might be thinking what if a one for all spam the moves in a one for one against a half out of coal user well a half out of coal user can probably they have a chance of landing the infinite combo it's just gonna be more annoying if you're playing with runners then it's literally kind of impossible to hit any infinite combos if, not, if you don't get them in m1 that's why i like to see this game use more m1s and just spamming quirks that would be amazing to see more m1s including in 1v1s if more m1s were included in 1v1s and more combos were you know, existing in the game then i'm pretty sure the pv system would be just way better but anyways that's basically all i have to say hope you guys agree with this tier list and i'm pretty pretty positive about this tier list yeah let me know what you think in the comments and uh yeah I might fuck a bitch if she's young or old Experience is key or so I'm